So we have a very different setup today because, as you can tell, I've got the jelly print jelly plates out, and I'm going to do some jelly printing. Yeah, so as you can see, I have three different size jelly plates. I have the six by six inch one. 12 by 12 inch one and my favourite one is the 12 by 14 inch one. You've seen me using this one before. I really like using this one because it covers A3 paper brilliantly. Um, it does leave a bit of a border on an A3 paper but it covers A4 perfectly so yeah I really like that one. It tends to be my favourite one. Um, I have, I've only opened this one just to open it and have a look at it and make sure it's okay. Um, as for this one too, I've never actually used this one and we're going to get started. So I'm predominantly going to use the big one and I'm going to turn it that way so it's longer that way than that way although I'm going to say it will be better for you to see that way actually so we'll do that and then I'm going to bring the little one in just over here and I'm going to use this as a bit of a paint palette. Um, as I've seen other people do and I can see I can squish over a little bit this way with that one and I can put that there that's okay um, I'm very out of sorts today because this is not my usual filming setup so you don't need really need to see that all that great um, I'm going to open up and basically this form book I'm just going to start with the first page and I'm just going to use it to roll off on um, yeah, so, and I'm just going to fill the book, and then when we've done it, filled the book, we'll be able to use it. 